Good morning. <laughs> so, ah, the under the sea box has arrived. So in full disclosure, um, I decided not to get the girls' bodies right now um, because they wanted four bodies in the matter of a couple of days. And that's a little bit much even for me. So, <coughs> excuse me. We, I did elect to go with their Star Wars buddies. Good morning, Sandra. Um, I, your Little Mermaid stuff is in, so I will be dropping that off to you probably tomorrow or Saturday, but I will catch up with you then. Because um, I have my bonus kid today. Um, his mom had appointments and stuff this morning, so I took her three kiddos to school, yeah, and then um, the older kids are taking the bus home, but I gotta pick up the little guy, so. We are going to dive in, but yes, full disclosure, I did not pick up the Ariel Buddy yet, um, because because four buddies in one week, that's that's pretty hefty for me, I'm going to be 100% honest. Uh, not that they won't ever get Ariel, they will, I know better, especially because Snugs is like super attached to Sebastian right now, and she is desperate for the Little Mermaid Buddy, but I decided to go with the warmer and some bars, so I did do... A six pack of wax, so I got two of Kiss the Girl. I got two of Under the Sea because if I am doing the whole, like the front room and the big room, I do need two bars to fill all the warmers that I have in those spaces. And I have warmed Kiss the Girl before and I love it. Um, and I was really super sad that I didn't think to put it in my club at the time, but I have, uh, I will be rectifying that here. So, we are going to have to go through my club. I, it's time to make some hard decisions um, and, and decide what things I can part with to make some room. So the last couple of days, I've been warming some of my club bars just to kind of like, do I absolutely have to have this? Um, so we'll be making some, some hard decisions here. And then I did pick up two bars of NHL Fresh Ice. So if you did not know, the, the NHL warmers are back. Um, we're not huge hockey fans. I'm going to be 100% honest. So like we don't have the Blackhawks warmer here, but it is super cute. They did a nice job. Um, and then they also have a matching mini now, but we have the Bears ones because James is a football fan, but the bar, oh, the bar is so good. I'm so happy to have this back. This is a really nice, strong, fresh, minty fragrance. This has been in my quarterly club. Um... And it was, I was only getting one bar quarterly. That, I can't have that. This needs to go monthly. I need at least one bar every single month, maybe two. I haven't decided. It depends on what kind of edits I make of how, how heavy I can go on this bar. But, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It is going in my room tonight. I love it. That is my favorite place to melt this because it's that really good, like, sinus clearing mint but it's not like a candy cane mint oh it's to die for it is so stinking good i love it i absolutely love it um kiss the girl is a very lovely like aquatic fruity fragrance oh, so excited I'm so excited um it's beautiful it's just absolutely beautiful i love it i'm excited to have this these bars will both be going into my club um I'm not sure, like I said, we got to go through it. And what I'm going to add monthly, what I'm going to add quarterly, because you guys, it's it's insane. So, And this one is a really nice, like, fresh, slightly floral, kind of aquatic. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I always do my bars in a six-pack. I like to get my free bar. Um, and then I have Sandra's six-pack here, but she opted for two mystery bars. So I'm not going to show off her six pack, but she did get um, some of both of the fragrances here. So two and two and then two mysteries. So I know she's watching and now I don't like to spoil the surprise, but the warmers, the warmers are here. This is what I'm really excited about is the warmers. Um, and I don't know how I'm going to handle this with Haley because I know she's going to want the warmer in her room. But this one is really, I know it's going to be bright, right? It's going to be a really bright warmer. And I kind of have a whole, like, Disney character theme going in the big room. So, like, we have 
R2-D2, we have Darth Vader, I have my Villains Warmer in there right now because of my office. Like, I kind of want this one somewhere super visible, right? She didn't care about Cinderella's carriage, really, so that's also in my main space. But, you guys, you guys, I'm so excited. Look at the box. Just look, like, look at the packaging. And I know, like, I don't keep my boxes for warmers that I keep, honestly, because if I did that, um, I would have an entire closet full of empty boxes, and that's just not practical for me. But look at how cute it is. It's so cute. And then I have Sanders warmer over there. So I'm so excited. <laughs> we open it up and it says under the sea. And it's got the castle. <sighs> I, lo I love my Disney. I love my Disney. Um, I also have another warmer to share with you guys that is not available yet, but it will be forthcoming. And I figure, well, the kids are at school. So, like, we enrolled Nucky in, in preschool right at the beginning of the month. And I'm thinking, like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to get, like, three days a week to myself, 15 whole hours. And it has not worked out that way. They've stayed home sick twice <laughs> on school days. And then, obviously, when James is off, uh, he's got other plans and other agendas because we're working on the house still. But... So really, I've gotten like 10 hours this month. My kids are in school three days a week, and I got like 10 hours. I'm like, wait, I'm getting ripped off here. But um, so I, I, I'm going to unveil two warmers, one from the, you know, the Little Mermaid collection. But <gasps> look at Sebastian. Oh, my God. This makes my heart so happy. This makes my heart so happy. Hi, Serena. Hi, Kim. He is so cute, and I love his bubbles. And he is, I think on the underside of the dish so you don't have to worry um, about the wax messing up his image he will be just fine because he is imprinted on the other side of the dish but he is super cute he is so cute oh let's get into the big one let's get into the base right that's that's got all of the really, really fun stuff. So um, I have seen some fun stuff with the colored bulbs. Um, I did not choose to get a colored bulb for myself for the warmer. Um, I might, but I really wanted to see it in all its glory as it was originally put together with the clear bulb because I know our clear bulbs are so, oh my gosh, <gasps> you guys, you guys, this is so cool. This is so cool. So you can see all of the really neat detail on here. And I really love the glass. I love the glass. And it looks like it's imprinted onto the glass. Um, if you're looking at it super, super close, you'll obviously see the outline of where they, they imprinted stuff because they did not want to like heat seal over the whole glass. But this is so cool. This is super cool. So let's go ahead and get it lit up. Oh, I love it. It is the perfect addition to my Disney collection. It really is. It's perfect. I'm really excited for this. Storm, what are you roughing about? So um, one of our neighbors, like Kitty Corner behind us, right, um, got a new puppy. So, she has been going ballistic every single time this guy brings his puppy out. So, he's got an older dog as well. Um, and she always likes to go out there when, when they're out because, I mean, we have a farm-style fence. So, you know, it's one that James built himself. It's not a privacy fence because we live on an acre and that would, one, have gotten super, super pricey and two, it would have cut off, like, our really nice view um in the, in the backyard but man she can see the new puppy and she's going nuts <laughs> she keeps every time she hears them go out she has to go out even if she just literally came back in five seconds later she has to go out so okay let's get this plugged in behind me all right let's light it up and you'll have to apologize for the, the glare through through the window here, but it's either in the dining room at my table with good lighting or in the dark corner where you can't see anything. So I chose the table. Oh my God! This is so cool. This is so cool. You can put Sebastian up on top. 
Oh my God, I love it. This is amazing. It is amazing. So you can see your bulb through it, um, but it is super, super bright. It really catches the wave in the glass here. This cannot go in the kids room because Haley won't let me turn her warmers off at night. Uh, it's going to have to go somewhere down here. They honestly, they make really good night lights in the house throughout the house. Um, so even when I shut off all our other lights at night, you can still not trip over anything and die. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that hurt. All right. So that is the little mermaid warmer. Um, and I will be finding that lovely lady a proper home uh, at some point today. And then we are going to dive in to the scent and warmer of the month for May, right? May, we're in April. Okay. <laughs> you guys, my days, it's just disappearing. The months are disappearing. It's killing me. So we are going to go ahead and dive into scent and warmer of the month. Um, full disclosure. I've already sniffed this. Um, I did happy mail drop off at the post office this morning because I want to get those out to you because I have a feeling this guy is going to be super hot. Um, but I did open up the, the, the stickers and stuff in order to make sure that the flyers were included for this in your happy mail. So this is pink lemon water. And for me, honestly, all I get is rose. It is super, super um, rose forward. It is not, it's not my jam. I, okay, I maybe get a tiny little hint of like pink lemonade. But this is for floral fans. Like my mom is going to go bonkers over this. She loved the Simply Rose Bar from um, the last Bring Back My Bar round. This is 100% a floral lover's dream, right? If you like those um, like super forward florals or you like rose, this is a bar for you. If florals kind of give you a headache, this is probably not the bar that's up your alley. But, um, so while it is not my cup of tea, I am glad that Scentsy always does something different. There's always something for everybody. So Scentsy says this is rose water infused with refreshing lemon and a spoonful of sugar. Um, I, like I said, I get maybe a hint of pink lemonade. You know, like lemon and sugar. Just a hint. Mostly what I get, like I said, is the rose. So the top notes are supposed to be fresh squeezed lemon. The mid note is rose water. And the base notes are sugar and sweet musk. It might transform while warming. Um, I'm going to put this in our downstairs bedroom to give it a try because I just have the Desert Bloom warmer in there and it is a bangerang performer as far as element warmers go. But I really, in case that rose stays forward, I, I'm, I'm too scared to put it in the big rooms. I'll be honest with you, like I don't want rose to overtake my house. Uh, I never even warmed the Simply Rose Bar that came out and bring back my bar because literally there was, I knew I was legit gonna get nothing but rose out of that, so. But the warmer, you guys, this is amazing, okay? This is literally like the minute that they unveiled this, I was drooling. It's so pretty. It is so pretty. So this is called our Bubble Iridescent. I actually have our Bubbled Ultraviolet, so they're like a pair. And you know how I feel about my sets, right? I have to have one of, if it's a set, I need both. <laughs> That's how I feel. <clears throat> and this is, is, in my mind, this is the partner to the Bubble Ultraviolet. And I'm straight obsessed with that, right? Like I have the Bubble Ultraviolet, it is upstairs in my room. Um, that is one that I use a colored bulb with. You guys have probably seen pictures of it. It's purple. Um, I do have my purple bulb in there, so it's more or less like a black light at night, so it's not super bright. Um, it does come with our standard sturdy four cube dish. So nice size, good and deep, nice and sturdy because you guys have seen me drop about a million dishes. I've just gotten lucky so far that nothing has broken. It is a 25 watt warmer. So we've got that. 
I've not opened this box. Okay, this is the first time I'm opening the box. I've seen real life photos, but you guys, look at this. This is stunning. Stunning. So, if you have the crowned and gold mini, right, and it's got that pearlescent finish that catches the different colors depending on what way you look at it, depending on how your light is shining in, that is this. That is that same beautiful, like, purple, teal, blue, pink, gold. Like, oh, it's amazing. It is amazing. I am obsessed. I am straight obsessed with this. This is so cool. And I, Lex moves home from college next weekend. She's going to straight try to steal this from me. I already know it. I'm already anticipating it. So, like, she's already laid claim to the desert bloom. And I'm like, no, I really like that one. She's like, but I like plants. Now she's going to be home. She's going to be home all summer. And she's, which is good. Which is good. I miss her. Like, I am super glad that we are moving her home next weekend. Um, I miss the snot out of her. I think it's probably going to be like super, super weird for her after like when you've been on your own for nine months, right? To have to move home and live with your mom 24 seven again. I'm sure she's going to be like, wait, what? I want to go back to school. I've changed my mind. I don't like this plan, but she is coming home, um, for the summer. So that'll be nice. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing, and my grams and I were talking about this yesterday, it'll probably be the only summer she comes home because, you know, after living out on her own, she, my, my grams was telling me, she's like, well, that's what your aunt Kim did. And I'm like, I'm sure she did. <laughs> Not because my grandparents are awful. In fact, they're probably the most wonderful people on the planet. But, you know, once you've got a kid, get out there and establish their independence and they're used to doing their own thing. <sighs> So this is really cool. So we've got our dish. We'll set that up top. It would have been really cool if they made this pearl, but I don't know if, you know, doing the outside pearl would have made a difference. So, all right, let's light her up. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. I love that you can see the bulb through this the way that you can. I am straight obsessed with this, you guys. And even like when you turn it, right? And it is super bright. I'm gonna tell you that. Like, do not put this in your bedroom. Um, it, it, the bulb looks purple through it. It looks purple through it, but you've got the gold and you've got the teal and you've got, you know, the, the purple and the blue, like, oh my. Thinking goodness. This is incredible. They did amazing. And I love this funky style, right? I absolutely love this funky, like dipped. It's just so unique, right? It's it's just super, super unique. And these are all, I do believe, hand-blown glass, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have <coughs> all the details on it per se in this but if I remember correctly my bubbled ultraviolet was hand blown glass so no two like usual are a hundred percent alike but you know the glass artists that we use obviously know their craft um and and are darn good at it even the bottom of the dish looks purple like you didn't even need to put the iridescence on it because it shines up into the dish with that iridescence it's it's amazing it's blow your mind amazing so Pearly iridescence transforms a contoured organic shape into a major statement that looks ready to pop. This is a major statement piece. For sure. So that, my friends, is what I have for you today. And, oh, I cannot wait to set this up. I was super excited for The Little Mermaid, but I'm almost like, I'm drooling over this warmer of the month right now. Like... I love this. Um, I should also probably tell you prices. I'm so sorry. Um, so because this is the warmer of the month for May, during the month of May, you will get it for 10% off. It would normally be a $55 warmer. It is going to be $49.50 for the month of May. This one is not going to last. 
I can tell you right now, this guy is going to go super, super fast. It's amazing. So if, if you looked at that and your heart is going pitter patter like mine, definitely reach out to me um, and get a pre-order in and I will get those orders placed for you on the first because I think this will be gone like that. So that is awesome. And, and your wax is also 10% off for the month of May as well. You can bundle it, of course. Um, like I said, this is not my cup of tea per se, but if you do like florals and you're thinking that you would like a sample, please feel free to let me know. I will gladly get some of this in your hands to try out <coughs> because, you know, they give us eight bars of it. The other bars on my desk, they give us eight bars of this. So I am fully stocked um, on this and will be happy to um, provide anybody with their pink lemon water. Um, if you are a super rose fan, although my mom will probably get one snip of this and be like, I'll take them all. I would love all of them, please. And thank you. So <laughs> beat my mom to the punchline because these are 100% up her alley. But, oh, oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Okay, so I got my missing flash sale item. I got my Boris the Yeti bike. <laughs> and I do believe, I do believe everybody has received their flash sale items. Um, and to, to give you kind of an idea, they did literally triple the amount of business that they anticipated and planned for. And it's because it was such, that they had so much good stuff in there that you hadn't seen for a very long time. But. So our, my little Boris the Yeti clip, right? Um, I voted my Heine off for him for the fall Bring Back My Buddy. So we will be getting the full size buddy. And like I, I had to have him. I had to have him. So my cousin might shoot me for sharing this story. But like the Yeti or the Abominable Snowman shares, you know, holds a really super, super special place in my heart. Um... So when we were in, when we were teenagers, right, we used to go to all of our family reunions with my grandparents, really. And <clears throat> this one particular one, we were going, we were in Colorado. We were going to Colorado and we were staying at the YMCA of the Rockies for this. Well, unbeknownst to my grandpa, there are two YMCAs of the Rockies, right? So turns out he had like booked our trip at the wrong YMCA of the Rockies, um, or like did his GPS, I guess, to the wrong YMCA of the Rockies at the time. Um, so we're driving through the mountains, super late at night, it's like 11 o'clock at night, we're driving through the mountains, we're passing things like Bear Lake, and all of you know your crazy nature names that you would expect in Colorado, right? And my cousin, God love her, um, was terribly freaked out that the Yetis were going to come and get us. Like, she legit believed it. And Tara, please don't shoot me because I love you. And it's like my favorite. It's one of my favorite memories. It was my favorite um, reunion that we ever went on was that one. And, like, we laughed until we hurt. Like, seriously. But she was 100% convinced that the Yetis were going to come out of those mountains and come get us. So I had to have Boris the Yeti. Um, now, he's got a little hood back here. And I will have to figure out, how, like, he's got ear holes, right? Because he's supposed to... He's supposed to look like this with his little ear holes. And he is scented in Candy Crave. But I voted for him something fierce because I needed I needed the buddy that reminded me of my cousin. Because um, we got to, like, reconnect at Christmas time. She had moved, you know, she's a military wife. So, you know, she's moved all over the place. And we hadn't seen each other for years. And, you know, this last Christmas when we went down to Florida and we got to see her because they he's now stationed in Jacksonville. Like it was, it was awesome. It was awesome to talk to her. It was awesome to hang out with her. Um, she was my best friend growing up, right? She was 100% my best friend growing up. So, you know, to be there with her and, and all of that, but I, I had to have him. I had to have him. So I'm really excited to have the little buddy clip. I will always have my cousin close. Um, I think he's gonna join baby Yoda on my, my bag that I carry with me, or he might hang out on my purse. I haven't decided. But he is scented in Candy Crave, which is a really fun, like, cotton candy juvenile scent. And I am going to have to figure out how to stuff his smushy head in there and get his ears through the tiny, tiny holes in his, in his hat. But I will, for sure, 100% um, be getting the large Boris the Yeti in the fall when it comes out. Because 
I, I wanted it because it reminds me so much of her and, the, you know, good memories and, you know, just a, a time with my family that I will literally never forget for as long as I live. I mean, it's stories that we still, like, we were still telling the story this past Christmas and that had to be 20 something years ago, longer than 20 years ago, because it was way before Lex was born and she's going to be 20 this year, right? So it had to be like 25 years ago, if that makes me feel old, that we went on this trip. And like, it's still one of the most predominant memories of, of my teenage years was, was going on this trip to Colorado and, you know, being in the car with my, my cousin and her thinking the yetis were going to get us. So again, Tara, please don't shoot me. This is just, it's super happy memories for me. Um, and I love him. I just absolutely love him. So I'm really happy that he's here because I was terrified I was going to get the oversold email and I wasn't going to get get my little yeti so all right you guys that is it thank you very much for joining me today i will catch y'all later bye, -bye.